Women are very critical to the blossoming economies of the world. For Jennifer Riria, a woman who has fought for the growth of women, this day should focus on the development of women across the world. The world over the years has made very many decisions that are supposed to move the women from the lesser to the equal playing field with their male counterparts. Have we achieved it? All the conventions that we have passed, have we respected them? All the country laws that spell to the equality of women, have we achieved those? And this day helps us, even as women, to ask ourselves, what have we done ourselves to push our agenda forward? So it's a very loaded day, and that's a very important day. While women empowerment is perceived in many dimensions, a gender specialist like Jennifer thinks that non-financial upliftings makes a woman independent rather than dependent. Things we do all the time here is to try and get women involved in the democratic processes. And because unless women are in the, in the, in the, in the areas where decisions are being made, we, we run the risk of leaving the lesser people who do not understand what the country is all about. What w women represent 52% of the population. Out of those 53%, 70% are youth, okay? Out of that 70% youth, I can tell you, 45% are women, youth, all right? So you cannot deal with not empowering women, helping them to position them as leaders, whether as young leaders, whether as political leaders or business leaders. Because of her role in uplifting women, a section of the society remark that an empowered woman is a troublesome woman, an opinion she strongly refutes. Once you give anybody a voice, Anybody begins articulating their rightful position in the society, their rightful position where they are, whether it is in the church, whether it is in the societal, you know, the, the, the group, the women group, whether it is in the, in the village group, they begin saying, yes, sir, I have a question. Once you have given them the capacity for them to feel I'm a human being first and foremost and I stand for a truth that I want other people to, to learn. That's where we are both brought the women to. After being in the leadership helm for over 25 years, there has been challenges and ups which have propelled her to the heights she is learn more by looking, you learn more by association, you learn more by getting to where action is. I'm now at the level where the action is, and I learn more even. I cannot relate all the lessons, but the lessons that I, I would like to, to share is this. A woman has to know where she's going for her to be able to get there. You see, if you don't know where you are going, any road is okay. That road is narrow for every woman. It's a struggle to pick through because the patriarchal society is real in this country. In her opinion, what is that one thing she would do for a woman at the grassroots? If I had the power, if I had the money, if I had the power and if I had the money, I would ensure that a woman has a baby in a safe, clean place that a woman's voice is heard and a woman's voice is respected and included in non-decision making level at all levels. For Jennifer Riria empowering women through financial services and information is the zeal and desire that has kept her going this far. Reporting for TV 47 from Nairobi, I'm Clifford. Ndubi.